Hey, buddy, Sam back once again. Yes, you just watched me unbox this bad boy, the Huawei P40 Pro. And now I'm going to actually do initial setup. Now, you've actually seen past this as well, and this is in the past, but you've also seen the future. Weird, right? Anyway, so this is the initial setup. So, first of all, choose your language. So, we'll uh, click get started because obviously we want English. Yes, I do speak English for some people out there. And I speak British English, which is the United Kingdom. But we also get quite a few other ones, which. A bit weird to get an Afghanistan, Afghanistan English. Oh, no, that's not the, that's not types of English, Sam. That's just the actual region. So, yeah, United Kingdom for myself. Click next on there. You then get your terms of use, which you have to agree. If you don't agree to it, you can't use the phone. You can't click next. Look, it's like, yep, nope, 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 nope. So, do you agree to the uh, end use license agreement? Honestly, it doesn't matter what it says, because if you don't agree to it, you can't use it. So, you have to click it. And then you've got the basic user statement with regards to a basic services, etc., etc., You can click more details, you want to go through it again. You can't really kind of opt out of it. It's just their standard, so happy days. Anyway, click next at this point. I want you to insert a SIM card. Now, I don't have my SIM card on hand. Well, I do, but my phone's charging upstairs. So I'm not gonna put that in right now, but look, you can add an eSIM. So yes, this phone does come in a couple of different models, good varieties. This one I've got here is a dual SIM which can do two SIM cards. You can also do an eSIM, or you could do a, a nano memory card, and the eSIM and a SIM card. There's loads of different possibilities. So this one obviously has got the eSIM in there as well. Skip, not gonna stick out in. Right, I wanna collect to connect to my internet. So I've got a couple of different ones in here. So, oh, you're an idiot. That's very nice, isn't it? So I'm just gonna connect to my internet. I'll uh, be right back. So boom, we are connected now. Yes, we are connected to the e-virus. Why not, huh? And data and privacy, or privacy as some people like to say it's privacy. Uh, you can go to the details, but again, it's not what you could really change about it. It's just telling you what it's all about. Skip, click next on there. And this is where you're gonna need your Huawei ID. So yes, the cat's the bag. There's no Google. You're gonna have to create a Huawei ID if you wanna use their app store and stuff like that. So at this point, you wanna be using it. So you wanna be logging in, authenticating, etc., etc. If you don't have one, you can create one. As you can see there, if you don't have one, just click forgot your password, or if you don't have one, click here, and you can actually uh, create a Huawei ID. So I'm just gonna log into mine, because I actually do already have one from my previous Huawei phones. So I'll log into it, and I'll uh, be right back. Okay, so here we are now. I've actually logged into my Huawei account. Now, if you've never actually logged into it, you might not get some of these options, but here you can actually automatically back up you see the automatic backup and encrypt your data for secure storage, sync photos, contacts, uh, for more easy access, etc. So you can do a cloud backup and then you can actually sync your data. So in terms of that, you can actually sync your gallery, your contacts, if it wants to focus, there we go. Your browser, your calendar notes and Wi-Fi. So if you are, let's say you've used your phone quite a lot, you have a Huawei phone, you've got your passwords saved on there, you can actually sync your passwords across for your Wi-Fi, your notes, calendar, browser, etc., etc., which is happy days for me. I've actually got quite a few photos on my gallery one. I'm not going to do it for this one right now because I want to make sure I've actually got them all in there. So I'm just going to leave it blank for now. But I will uh, have the cash. I'll tell you what, I won't do contacts. I'm going to sync them all in separately, which I'm going to do in a future video for you guys and guys as well. Anyway. We will click, actually look, you can enable it later in settings. But in terms of this one, choose what you want to do and actually go to it. I'm actually going to enable it later on in settings as well. Do you want to skip the cloud? Yes, I want to skip the cloud. And this is the Huawei mobile services. This is what's replacing the Google mobile services. So you're thinking, what's that? Effectively, it's all the things that Google run in the background for the Google Play Store, for the maps, etc., etc. A lot of apps use it. And it's something Huawei are trying to replace because they're not allowed to use Google anymore. It's unfortunate, but it is as it is, and while we're trying to go to their heads, try to you know, go forward on their own. So, skip that one. Device protection. So yes, this is what you can do. The fingerprint, face recognition, and set a password. So I'm actually just gonna uh, change my battery, and I'll be right back. And voila, just like that, we are now back. So yeah, you can do fingerprint, a face recognition, or set a password. So what I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna do, I'll do the face recognition. Let's see if it actually wants to work. So you need to actually set a screen lock first. You could use six, I always do four, just, just while I'm playing around with the phones. So I'm actually just gonna put in my super secret password now. Don't tell anybody this one, okay guys. So if you put what you wanna put in there, and then you wanna set up your face recognition. You have to focus there for us. And it says, before starting, Make sure the camera is clean, your face is unobstructed, and the environment is well lit. 
you can use your face recognition to unlock your device and open locked apps. Cool, and you can enable a raise to wake. So when you lift it up, it'll automatically turn it on and unlock it for you. So let's get started in there. So you can see I've got headphones and a hat on. And let's see if he wants to read it. So boom, that's it. It's read my face and it's saying job done. So now what we're going to try, actually going to do the fingerprint scanner as well. So it's going to put in my super secret password there. Again, don't tell anybody. Oops. And now the fingerprint scanner is underneath the screen. So I click add fingerprint. It says note, the accuracy of the fingerprint sensor may be affected if you're using a third party screen protector. For best results, use an official Huawei screen protector. Uh, okay, don't remind me again. So here it is, here's the actual finger pressment there. And we're just going to put our thumb on there. Let's see how quick we do this. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so now we need to do the edge of them. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12. So I think it took 22 in all, if I uh, did it up correctly. So there we go, that's now in, enrolled in there. And this is for the enhanced services. So go to there, and these are the different services you've got. So you've got Wi-Fi Plus. What it will do is if your Wi-Fi is being pretty crap here, it will probably disable it, and then try and use your mobile data instead. As you can see there. Da -da 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 -da. There you go. Wi-Fi Plus services automatically switch between Wi-Fi and mobile data. It'll obtain your location using nearby base stations and access points and then automatically turn the Wi-Fi on or off. Cool. Weather service. So if you want to have a nice little weather, tell you what your weather is on your lock screen, then make sure it's turned on. You've got high search, which is, think of it as like Google Lens, so to speak, um, ish. It is a lot of search things. It's like kind of like their version of a Google search in a lot of ways. Uh, you've then got support, so you've got support, the smart diagnosis feature requiring an internet connection. Okay, and then multi-device collaboration enables rapid data sharing and collabor collaboration between mutually tr trusted devices on a basis of automatic discovery. Oh, I've not seen that one before, that's a new one. I've not seen that one before, people. I uh, should be investigating that one. So anyway, um, I only enable the weather service. And I'm happy about that one. Um, I'll do. You click what you feel is best for you. And in fact, I'll click no thanks for now. And we'll uh, go back to it later on. You've then got the user experience improvement program. So this is where you can actually help them develop new features for the phone. So it sends anonymous data to them in terms of what your usage patterns are. So if you open up a certain app in a certain way, um, it, they kind of get a lot of data from that and then they can kind of tailor the chipset, the software to try and make it faster for you in the future. So you can join it or not join it. Again, I'm not going to join it right now. So I click later for me. Share analytics, pretty straightforward. Um, I click no. It's your choice what you want to do. We then got the Huawei location services. So he's thinking, oh, I've not seen that one before. This is effect like the Google location services. But Huawei have now got their own. So we'll uh, enable that one and then keep your software up to date. I always recommend having enable and continue. What it'll do is it'll automatically download updates and say to you, look, you've got an update available. Do you want to restart and uh, install it? So for me, that's a big thumbs up. Enable and continue. At this point, you can now do data import. Now, I'm actually going to do a separate video based on this. It's going to show you all the ins and outs of it. It's going to be a very long video. So for me now, I'm just going to set up as a brand new device. And then you've got the new navigation system. So let's have a try of them. So first of all, you can uh, pull in from the side, goes back, happy days. But you can also pull in from the other side, it also goes back, oh, happy days. Swipe up from the bottom, goes to multitasking, nice. And if you actually swipe up, that's it, swipe up and hold it, then it gets you multitasking. Swipe and up, it'll actually close your apps. And that's it. You can actually change the navigation method, if you click that there, you actually go back to the buttons. Personally, I recommend having these on. It is the future and it makes things a lot smoother for you in the long run. Click finish. Happy days and know where you are. That's it. That is the initial setup, the first time setup. It was a lot a bit longer than I expected, but no more different than most phones to be fair. I kind of fart assed around a little bit. But yeah.
that's it if you got any questions with regards to this or anything else you know what to do by now you can put in a comment down below don't forget to be up on twitter at sam j Pullum. go on i am on facebook snapchat instagram you name it everywhere on the internet at sam j Pullum is the username so yeah i'm looking forward to testing this phone out and it's full uh in-depth kind of glory and uh, i'm going to try and do quite a few different videos on it see if we can maybe even get a google running on it maybe we'll give it a crack shall we yeah anyway thanks for watching and you'll see me well okay you won't see me you'll see these and you see these puppies in my next video <laughs> cheers everyone <laughs>